Mute ka lang. simply ask you this how often in a given day do you say thank you Lord thank you thank you thank you well what about when you wake up in the morning when you don't have any motivation except that God is your God Jesus is the Lord of your life and he's going to walk with you all day long gratitude Thanksgiving we should teach our children that we should teach them very early in life if a person's not grateful you know what they're saying I don't recognize him as a source of my blessings. I don't recognize him as a source of anything. I can make it myself. Gratitude, thanksgiving, it should be a part of our thinking, a part of our life, a part of how we operate. If this God wakes you up every day, allows you to breathe, see, it's not your alarm clock that wakes you up. It's God allowing you to wake up. The first thing I do, I sit on the edge of the bed, I thank God I'm alive. I just like waking up. And I'm, I'm, I never say, man, I hope, I hope it's a good day today. No. I say, today is going to be a great day. I claim it. I sit down, I just ask God to show me what I should learn today. And he flips, the, I open the book to whatever he wants me to read. And I read it, I highlight it, I take notes about what I learned, I study it and I try to put it into action. And that's every day. Now, a lot of people say, I don't have time to do that. But you do have time. If you don't have time, you should make time. Because gratitude is the number one way to become successful. So if you ever stop to just thank him for everything he's done for you, gratitude is the number one principle of success. That's what the average person doesn't understand. You could do that today. You can start that today. That would change your life. I kid you not. You, you ain't got to try, just try it. You ain't got to believe me. Try it. I dare you. Every single day when you and I wake up, we can still see, we can still hear, we can still walk, we can still eat. In other words, all the functions that we enjoy every day of the every day. So why not wake up every morning saying, thank you, Jesus? And during the day, thank you. And people say, well, is that what you do? I thank him all the time. In other words, if something good comes my way, I just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or if I'm hurting uh, somewhere in my life, I'll just say, thank you, Jesus. I know that you have a reason for this, and I'm going to trust you to heal me. Thank you, Lord. And let's rebuke the devil. Thank you, Jesus. You're the one who's in charge. We should live lives of thanksgiving all the time. A true heartfelt daily thanksgiving has a powerful impact on our life. In other words, if we're thanking him daily, it's going to impact our life. And that is being aware that you are living in the presence of a holy, almighty, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God who loves you unconditionally. And all he's asking is recognition, gratitude, and obedience. You get up tomorrow morning and you think, oh, it's cold, this, that, and the other. I'm going to tell you how to get over that right now. When you're lying there moaning and groaning about your job and the weather and the traffic, you just start saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I guarantee you, you'll have energy to hop out of the bed and do what you need to do. Why? 
because praise and thanksgiving by its very nature energizes us. Now what you've done, you've got your mind off the traffic, and that's on God. And it's on the blessing that He has for you during the day. It energizes us physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually in every single way. Giving thanks to God removes the anxiety. You can be anxious and worried about anything. You start thanking Him, praising Him, focusing on Him, and it is amazing how the anxiety disappears. Next thing you know, you think, well, you know, what am I worried about? I've got holy, almighty, sovereign God on my side taking care of me. Why am I down in the dumps? Listen, living in the dumps isn't God's plan, and He can get you out real fast. You start thanking Him and praising Him, the devil runs, and God gets you out, and you're rejoicing and praising the Lord before you know it. Because anxiety and fretting over things is not the will of God. I think about Almighty God and think about all the things that you and I have to be grateful for in our life. All right, so thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Welcome to our program here in Natura Paths in Manila. So I'd like to say thank you to all our viewers who's watching us, continuously watching us and supporting us. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And then to all our viewers who's tuning in with us this morning from different parts of the world. Thank you very much and good day to everyone. Now my beautiful co-host Pink will also greet everyone as well. Yes, Pink. Yes, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, my beautiful co-host for doing this with me. Thank you so much for, um, yes, thank you for everything. <laughs> And magandang umaga, Pilipinas. Good morning, world. We are the Naturopaths in Manila. I'm one of your hosts, Holistic Pink. You can call me Pink for short. And this week's episode, of course, as always, uh, it's a very interest interesting topic. Uh, uh, it's also a treatment that can empower us. It's an option for us to, you know, have uh, to maximize our living, our lives. So, yeah, for today, I want to introduce to you our... <laughs> yes, um, uh, um, yeah, uh, we have a very interesting topic this morning. But maybe before we dive in, let's have a little chat. My, my co-host, I miss you actually, you know that. Uh, but I want to say thank you to you for preparing all of this stuff. Um, together with our team that you're doing all this mga behind the scene para to make our show continuously to be more beautiful. Uh, I'd like to comment on this, particularly this video that you just uh, chose to bring it out. Um, I, uh, I would like to say na that's very, very true, you know, na when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you, you say is, or attitude of gratitude, di ba? Whoever, um, God, you call in, um, we have different backgrounds when it comes to religion and faith and belief. It doesn't really matter. The important is that you have this kind of consciousness that there's always a lot of good things to be grateful for, regardless what kind of uh, situation, wherever and what kind of situation you are into. And that's very, very true, empowering to actually practice that attitude of gratitude that will fuel you and fuel your your everyday activities. Um, me personally, um, of course, we are humans. We continue to experience the up and downs of, you know, emotions and uh, but that's okay because as I've said, tao nga tayo eh, hindi naman tayo robot, di ba? But the, the, the beauty is when we have this kind of understanding and conviction that uh, faith, okay, uh, yeah. whatever and however you call that, um, you know that this too shall pass, every challenges that have come along your way, um, it's going to be like that. 
di ba? So, uh, the important is, I guess, is this is how we are taught in pranic healing, yes? That uh, the important is we have, um, what they call this, the understand that um, these challenges is actually a lesson for us to learn, di ba? If that kind of consciousness we have, how we perceive this situation is what will I learn from this? Diba? Ganun dapat yung atin kesa na bakit ako ang nagkakaroon ng ganitong challenges? Bakit ganun? Why me? Why me? Diba? Dapat our attitude should be what is the lesson I need to learn from this situation or challenges or what is the beauty out of this situation? Siguro pag meron kang ganun attitude regardless of what kind of situation or challenges you are faced into yung ship of consciousness malaking bagay di ba um parang there's a force within you and out of you also na biglang magkakaroon ka ng empowerment to act properly instead of being so reactive in the situation uh, we become more reflective and therefore our action to that is more something uh something that is more realistic na yun dapat ang ating magiging um, response. And uh, since yesterday is a teacher's day, uh, Pink, I'm sure if, if it's your turn, you, I know that you also want to greet, but I'd like to let um, everyone knows and to extend our gratitude and so much overwhelming thank to all our mentors from the Philippine Institute of Naturopathic Sciences to PINS. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, and dami nila, but they know who they are. Um, all the things that we are sharing to all our viewers, natutunan natin yan sa mga teachers natin, sa mga doctors, sa mga mentors natin in PINS. And of course, to all the mentors we have from Pranic Healing, the eight masters in Pranic Healing, Master Stephen, Master Faith Sawe, Master Hermi, Master Danny, Master Marilag, Master Mendoza, Master Hector, and Master Nona. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you very much for continuously nourishing all of us here in this organization. And of course, to the very teacher, our spiritual teacher, Master Chowa Koksui. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga binigay niya for the world. Yeah, so um, thank you very much to all our families, of course, and uh, our friends and our colleagues. Our, we have a lot of things to be grateful for. So thank you so much. Yes, my dear, beautiful co-host, <laughs> say something. <laughs> Already said everything, but of course, I'm still thankful. I still want to say thank you personally to, yes, first, um, in my family, Prime Healing Foundation of the Philippines, to our eight masters, to our, of course, to our teacher uh, who brought this, you know, techniques, these teachings here in the in our in this lifetime, Master Chowa Koksui. Thank you so much. And yeah, I I wanted to thank also my teachers, my our mentors in Philippine Institute of Naturopathic Sciences, my teachers before before pa grade school secondary and oh, wow. diba? and of course to our friends na teachers then or um, professors doctors in you know in colleges in universities happy teach, uh, teachers day tama ba kahapon and of course uh, the uh, first day din kahapon ng classes right and we want to congratulate magre-raise hand ako kasi uh, na mention mo yung mga teachers from the past. I also want to say thank you. I'm sure they are also watching as they know about this. To all my teachers and mentors of the school where I'm taking my master in psychology right now, thank you very much to our dean who's been so super supportive to all of us, to all the students to keep uh, returning our clinical reports. Thank you, sir. <laughs> But thank you so much. I am so grateful for all the help and learning that you're doing to all the to all of us in our uh, class in psychology. Because right now I'm taking my master in psychology. So thank you everyone also. 
Okay, so I want to continue because yes. I know you can't contain that you really wanted to thank your, you know, your school now because you've been telling me stories how supportive your teachers are, your mentors there, no? And I'm glad that, you know, you're enjoying what you're doing right now. And of course, yeah, in at my end, on my end, the man on my side, um, congratulating Department of Education. You know, I'm working with them right now and um, it's it's really a success. Um, first day of school yesterday in uh, the public schools and it's also our first day of producing the modules or subjects on TV and also on um, the DepEd is also producing uh, lessons mm -hmm. via social media and IBC 13 and Signal channel 888 i'm not really sure but next time i will post our schedules of subjects for the benefit of those who wanted to you know uh, watch the uh these lessons or modules for second um until parang grade 11 or 12 senior high school they're doing subjects yeah from kinder to senior high mm -hmm. so yeah i i wanted to thank everyone all of my uh, my family and Usapang Real Life, in, uh, we're producing this show in TV5, my family in DZRH also, my family in new family in DepEd, my family here at home for supporting me, of course, and all of my friends out there. And yeah, kung sino kayo, alam nyo na yun. And of course, yes, I agree with you also that problems or challenges Sabi nga sa foundation natin, sabi nga ng masters natin, in pranic healing, there's no such thing as problems, just lessons to be learned. Yes. That's Correct. Right. Uh, that's so empowering to have that kind of uh, understanding. And also, uh, Pink, I'd like also to give a shout, shout out now to all our friends um last sunday we had we have been receiving a very positive feedback with the show that we had with dr rob um uh, my unicorn titas who watch some of them watch on live some of them watch on replay it's because we know how busy they are but nevertheless i'd like to say thank you to donna bautista to dindi of course to zarina who continue to always supporting our natural paths in manila and all other friends that um um, um watching us regardless where whether it's on live or on the replay thank you very much guys thank you thank you we are so grateful for all your support and thank you for other friends that who give and uh, they're giving an idea for us to what to show in relation to health and wellness so thank you very much we the natural paths in manila team are we are all grateful for all your um support so thank you so much yes yeah so yeah i wanted to you know i missed you so much judith alma oh. <laughs> and like uh in the past months of you know we're still in quarantine restricted quarantine we've been mm -hmm. you know we've been doing video call almost every day but now right. we seldom chat each other right. i agree <laughs> oh live streaming nara so how are you? How's your how's your Monday yesterday and you know this morning so far? Um okay, um yesterday uh, I dedicated most of my time. I think it's my recharge. Although I do it every day, but I really put more intense to that practice of meditation on twin hearts that we have. Yeah, it's really a, and then uh, I I did some psychotherapy healing techniques that we learn also from chronic healing that um I was mentioning a while ago what happened the night before yesterday that uh, my son and I, um, some sort of, you know, a mother and son thing, yeah? But um, I, alam mo, Pink, kasi you are going to be very, very convicted of what you're doing talagang. Apart from seeing and witnessing the result from people, sa sarili mong buhay, di ba? So, um, I did a healing for my family yesterday and uh, especially with my son and uh, I am just grateful to witness the miracle of this psychotherapy techniques that we learned from pranic healing because 
di ba nga, um, we are taught that these psychotherapy techniques addresses the relationship uh, mga anything that is about relationship yeah. uh, mm -hmm. mental or uh, psychological issues of a person or people or even mga anything um me myself and um i noticed that uh within the day uh whatever it is that uh, my son and i you know had this argument the night before um yesterday um, my boy would come down to from third floor because he was doing his uh he's doing his virtual class uh sa area niya to third floor then he went down after and then <laughs> parang adult lang mommy let's talk <laughs> oh and uh very you know um it's very inspiring and um after everything that uh he told me and my i also share my sentiments about the thing what happened i you know i went to my room because we parted now we parted ways we went up and go back to his uh usual activities Naiyak na lang ako kasi sabi ko, grabe, ang powerful naman nito. Na thank you God, thank you to all the angels, thank you master, di ba? Na parang na-resolve ka agad, yun dapat ma-resolve. Um, in an ordinary setup, for sure yan sa pag mga ganyan, it will prolong kasi hmm, ang daming mga you know, emotional um, thing that will arise to you. Pero with the techniques that we have, I am just very grateful and overwhelmed with the results of all of this pink. That's why I am very grateful the Pranic Healing Foundation of the Philippines continue to spread this. Here in the Philippines, you know, we have access to all of this. And right now, kahit nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic, they are heavily promoting this energy awareness every day. So if our viewers is they are interested to know more about this, please message us. We can connect you to all the activities that our Pranic Healing is doing right now. And um, it's very empowering when you have yung tinatawag nga na life kit tools meron ka na parang nagagamit mo kasi it doesn't have to pile up yung mga situation or emotion sa katawan mo na parang you set aside lang. If in the physical aspect we have what we say na suppressed, sino suppress natin, nagiging form of sakit. Eto hindi mo na hindi na kailangan ng yare, kasi na address kagad. So napakalaking bagay. So and also um uh, I believe being uh, it's one thing that we know about this concept. It's another thing that we apply into our life and more so be consistent with the practice. So. Right hindi naman siya yung parang magic. It becomes magic when things is really, you witness the results. But um, within that magic thing results, may process yan. So what is the process? Dapat you, we are also become aware about that. So I'm just grateful. I was sharing with you like what you said. Bihirang-bira na nga tayo mag-usap. Laging ganito na lang. Pero at least we had time, at least five, ten minutes to chat na na-share ko sa'yo yung ano. And I'm just grateful. Yun ang masasabi ko na. What, that's what made me busy yesterday. And at the same time, I attended uh, a homeopathy class again with Denise Seldran. Uh, thank you very much, si Denise. Um, heavily promoting homeopathy um, courses. You can um, tune in, um, check her FB page also, or Denise Salgan. And then uh, also, uh, ongoing uh, revision of my clinical reports. <laughs> Natatawa na lang ako doon kasi parang paulit-ulit na ako. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm learning a lot from this uh, course, from from what I am doing, from, from, from taking this master in psychology. I actually loving it, reading all the books. Parang sabi ko, naiintindihan ko siya kahit Ano ba? <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm 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 just grateful for everything and the business is going well. Sa mga um tawag dito sa nangyayari sa mga business namin, I'm just grateful that um this is the things happening regardless. Of course, there's always something going on that you don't like to happen, but you know, focus your attention to something more grateful and life will bring you more of what you want to be grateful for. Right. Uh, yeah. So, ikaw naman, um, you said na, Dep Ed, how are you really related to this project, Pink? Maybe you can elaborate. And uh, 
yeah, what have you been doing and how are you? And talagang ng busy-busy ka kasi kahit sa Facebook hindi ka nag online masyado. <laughs> yep. So, I'm connected to just I just started this project last week. Oy, wait lang, Ping! I-shout out natin si Master Faith Sawe and Master Hermie are watching us. Master, thank you so much and happy Teacher's Day. Thank you. So happy. <laughs> Wow, nanonood pala sila. <laughs> thank you, Masters. Thank you, thank you, thank you po. <laughs> thank you po for watching. So anyway, um, uh, this is my second week and I, I'm handling three teams with DepEd. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I honestly felt overwhelmed last week because, you know, I have to like right away um absorb everything mm -hmm. but i honestly felt overwhelmed but you know again we have this life life pack techniques and tools i again you know just focus on what what is you know what we are grateful for and thankful for and i guess automatically you'll feel you know right you'll be uh I'm back on track again after, you know, just telling to God na, uh, thank you for these opportunities. Thank you for everything. I'm busy. You know, um, I've just, in, uh, it just started this, uh, in this situation na I'm, I'm already not say, saying busy. I, I'm just saying I have things to do. I have things to, you know, prioritize. But I don't really say busy na kasi parang kung busy, wala ka ng time sa lahat. That's but right. You just have, you know, priorities or you just have a schedule to do. You're just doing what you need to do. Parang ganun lang. At least you have time for everything. So, um, masaya ako and I just do what we have in in our in pranic healing teachings to meditate. Still have time to meditate. Put God first. Uh, do the practices first. You apply the teachings and techniques, and yeah, it will empower us. Uh, unlike to unlike with um, unlike before, and I just you know I just know the teachings. I just know that I can meditate, but I don't really do it every day. But now because of this situation, I've learned. You know, I contemplated. I had power to. You know, I, I am motivated or just realized that. Let's try to do this every day, something like that. And then I saw the power of it. I saw how how fast the effect of it in, in my life and also to the life of the people around me here at home. And of course, and one thing that I will always, always be grateful for, thankful for that I've learned in our in pranic healing is the powers of blessings, doing blessing and healing to other people and of course to myself. And yeah, you can say that something is effective or powerful if you are seeing the result, not only uh, to other people, but also to your own life. And I'm really grateful and thankful that in this journey, I have you, my friends, Judith Alma Zarina, and our other friends in, in the foundation. Yes, I am. Life is, you know, in spite of the situation, life is still like the, the life before a new normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. so thank you so much, Pink, for sharing this empowering um, experience from you. Let's give a shout out also to those who are watching us right now. Actually, Jason Principe. Hi, Jason, our one of our previous guests who talk about hypnotherapy. And also Ness from Pins, our classmate in Pins. And uh, yes, yeah, so... Um, this morning, I'm sure we have um, a lot of uh, things that we're going to learn from Dr. Dr. Rob itself. Um, he's going to talk about chiropractic treatment and the benefits of this uh, practice. And uh, we're going to learn that um, he's really advocating not only this kind of treatment, but it's in a very holistic way of, uh, of uh, approach. Yeah. And the 
you know, sabi ko nga sa iyo pinadala ko, 'di ba, na this doctor has a big heart to help others. So Doc Rob, thank you very much. We are we are so um grateful that how happy and excited you are to share everything about this practice. Of course, um the expert itself talk about this and more so pink and i and the rest of the team of naturopaths in manila we are very grateful how your heart to serve for others nakaka amaze diba na someone like doc rob diba so kaya tayo siguro sabi ko nga resonate na resonate kay doc rob because talagang yung pure intention niya na doing service beyond in the scope of his um work talagang out, go out of way yan si Doc Rob para mag uh, tumulong. So, Doc Rob, maraming salamat. <laughs> yes, Pink. So, I think it's about time for our viewers to get to know Doc Rob. So, please introduce him now. I'm going to read uh, the, you know, so about Dr. Rob from his website, docrob.com. Chiropractor, Doc Rob, the Philippines' best loved and respected chiropractor. Yeah, this is really true. And they call Doc Rob the best and most loved chiropractor in the Philippines. And along with the highest levels of professionalism and customer service from Doc Rob and his team, it's no wonder Philippi Filipinos travel far and wide for regular treatment at his warm, cozy, welcoming clinics. So his love and passion to heal through the miracle of chiropractic aim to give patients relief from an endless list of ailments and health conditions and quite literally take on a new list of life. Although he's always open and honest about the claims and effectiveness of regular chiropractic care and always says one is one adjustment is not a cure-all. Many do find relief um, even after their first session. Some even go as far as to say as magical, mind-blowing, and amazing after regular adjustments and reinforces the belief that regular chiropractic care has the innate ability to help the body heal and rejuvenate itself. So for Dr. Rob, through the almost magical benefits of chiropractic adjustments are just the beginning of what could be their, uh, your transformational story and reinforces his belief that regular treatment is the beginning of a lifelong journey that can open up a whole new world, philosophy, and lifestyle that not only could help you find relief from physical pain, but also discover a new list of life bursting with joy, happiness, and well-being. So Doc Rob is also an athlete, a father, and the husband of Patricia Javier. So guys, let's welcome Doc Rob. And we just had a recorded video with him last Sunday, right? Judith? Uh, yes, because uh, we all know that um, most of us are going back to back to new normal yeah for our work so at this time doc rob is so busy attending to all his patients now uh, returning to um schedule to have a treatment for uh, about this practice so but the with the goodness of this of his heart and kindness um he made time for the natural patch in Manila and to all our viewers. He he really he he finds way. So yun ang nakakataba ng puso, di ba? Tung doctor na to busy busy pero ginagwan niya ng paraan yan para ma everyone would know about this uh, treatment. So I guess um let's not delay the excitement that uh Doc Rob will bring to our viewers. Speak. So bring it on the the recorded uh, discussion we had with our doctor, Rob. Let's do this. Share. Let's go. Share. 
and welcome back to our show here in Natural Paths in Manila. We are with Dr. Rob again. So to start our question now, with, yes. yes, I would like to ask Dr. Rob, how does chiropractic work, Dr. Rob? So uh, chiropractors, we identify problems in one spine. So our spine changes, you know, very early in life. You know, some common uh, things that you guys know, like Hindi Pantai, you know that word Hindi Pantai. The pelvis shifts out of alignment, you know, uh, our spine grows crooked, you know, scoliosis. Um, another very, very popular structural change that happens is our neck. Our neck goes forward as we age. So from the side, we're actually supposed to have curvatures. That, those curves are there to act as a spring so we can absorb gravity uh, when we're seated, when we fall. But what happens, we lose those natural curvatures. So mm -hmm. the curve in your neck is called lordosis, but we tend to straighten by around 15 to 20 years of age, we lose that natural curve. And that is the cause of majority of neck, head issues that we develop, the stiffness, the tension, the headaches, is really because of the hypolordosis most of the time, around 80% of the time. So the weight of the head being around 10 pounds is on top of the spine, affecting a sp your spine, but more importantly, your nervous system. The nerves then tell your muscles to tighten, and that's what's creating that bilateral trapezius tension. Mm -hmm. And so again, so chiropractors, we locate these issues, these spinal misalignments that we call subluxations, like we spoke about the other day. And we start the process of caring for one spine. When I adjust somebody's spine, it's not like I'm instantly aligning it. That's not realistic. That's not what's happening. What we do is we are instantly reducing the stress that's accumulated on the joint affecting the nerve. Mm -hmm. And so that's what makes a chiropractic session so powerful. A session is three to five minutes. Mm -hmm. But that's what makes it so powerful. We are instantly improving the nervous system, the communication of the nerve to that muscle, to that organ, to your immune system. So we identify those problems and we start to care for them with our hands, improving mm -hmm. nerve function so the body can heal itself. That's how chiropractic works. Wow. So thank you for that. That's so, so <laughs> chiropractic is very, um, how do I say this? It targets, it addresses a lot of things in your body. The way you explained it, Doc, like, you know, we all know, I mean, even people who are not so much um, knowledgeable about the function of the nervous system, but it's connected also to the brain. So if yeah. you have any kind of misalignment or any form of, a, I would say, more of congestion or things that it's not really functioning in your nervous system, everything just follow in your body. That's how I understood it. And through the kind of treatment of chiropra uh, chiropractic treatment that can be addressed. It's like really assisting your body to its inherent ability to heal itself. It's just, you know, that is the job now of chiropractor, yeah? Yes, yes. Chiropractors use the term, and I know you're, you're familiar with this term, innate intelligence. Yes. Like I say inherent, uh, innate intelligence, chiropractic. We are allowing your body's innate intelligence to, to right. function. Of our body, it has an innate intelligence. Absolutely, yeah? yes. Okay, so how about you, Pink? Do you have any question for Dr. Rob? Hi, Dr. Rob. Yeah, I really um, understand how chiropractic treatment or care works because of how you um, explained it to us that our spinal cord or our nervous system is really um, chiropractors can help you know maintain the health of our nervous system thus helping the other systems of our bodies to you know function well so with that this is my next question so should I come to my treatment if I am unwell or should I wait for a pain should I wait for anything that's you know I will should I need to feel something wrong with my body before I come to a chiropractor or should I just come if, um, just, for, just to check myself? Great question. And we use a lot of dentist analogies, dentistry and teeth analogies because it's very similar. You don't wait until you have a toothache to start to brush, mm -hmm. right? You do it beforehand so you don't get a cavity. Mm -hmm. Well, chiropractic is the same. Our spine is slowly deteriorating as we age. We call this osteoarthritis. The reason our joints degenerate 
or we develop osteoarthritis is because of abnormal stress. So when these misalignments, like for example, the neck being straight, it's like that for 20 years, 30 years, <clears throat> excuse me, that abnormal stress affects the disc it affects the joint and the erosion starts to, to develop in our late 30s, early 40s. So then that's why we have more and more symptoms as we get older, 30s, 40s, 50s. We start to get numbness in our extremities. We have more chronic spasm and headaches mm -hmm. because our spine has started to erode or arthritis has started to develop. And so the younger you start to care for your spine, the better, the less stress, the less arthritis you have on your spine when you're older and obviously you feel better, tapos, you get sick less often. Yeah, Studies yeah. show when you're under regular chiropractic care, you are getting sick far less often. You're getting prescribed medication far less often, going to the hospital far less often. Uh, so, you know, for example, my two children, they've been adjusted since birth and, you know, they, they are rarely sick. And uh, so they... And I, I, my, my clinic is really designed for wellness and prevention. So before this pandemic, we were, you know, bombarded with kids. We take care of tons of kids. Uh, you know, once we educate the parents about the benefits and how this, you know, improves your health and your kids get sick less often, of course, they want to bring their kids. And kids need far less care because their spine is not a mess. Mm -hmm. They're still young. But by the time we're 30, 35, 40, we have a lot of problems that have accumulated. And so therefore it might take a few more sessions, many sessions to get one spine healthy. So the wow. younger you start, the better. But um, thank you for sharing that, Doc. It's, it's really become very interesting now because I'm a mother of a 13-year-old boy and he's a footballer. He's a very, very active uh, boy. So now by saying that a kid, we're talking about what age? what age of, or what bracket that uh, should we bring our children to a chiropractor? And um, what are the techniques really do chiropractors use? How's it being performed? And will that treatment hurt? Because I've seen some videos that I'm hearing like a adjustment that like there's a cropping thing. So yeah. for me as a parent, as a mother, what is my assurance that there's not, because we're talking about spine, Doc, uh, Rob, you know that spine is very, very critical in our body, very sensitive. So um, I want to know how is this being done and what are the things or techniques that yeah. we perform? Good. Okay. So you asked like three questions there. So we'll go yeah. back to the first one. <laughs> uh, what, <clears throat> what age? So, you know, babies can actually be adjusted. Uh, absolutely. So if your baby is crying abnormally, uh, <clears throat> not going to the bathroom regularly, um, has a flat skull, has a turn in their neck, like a torticollis, uh, asthma. Uh, so I'm talking babies, but like, so babies, if they're showing signs of that, that's a disturbance sometimes, oftentimes in their nervous system, getting ear infections. Um, if your child's taking antibiotics at a young age, there's, there's usually oftentimes something wrong. And so again, chiropractic is a holistic approach to health. We usually don't, we don't prescribe medication. And so those are signs. If your baby's having those, they can absolutely get adjusted by a chiropractor. It is very, very safe. And then as we age, so starting to walk, think about when your child is starting to walk, how many times a day they fall. Well, this is where the subluxations really begin, the pelvic alignment, scoliosis. So the younger they can start getting adjusted at, you know, one years old, one and a half, two, you know, you have much less chance of developing scoliosis, having the proper pelvic alignment, they're gonna get sick less often. <clears throat> so one years old, three years old, all of those are very great ages. And when they're that age, they only need like once a month. Oftentimes when a teenager is coming, you know, they've already started to develop poor posture. You see it now with kids and the texting and the video games, they're really slouching at a very early age. So therefore we might see them once a week for a few uh, one or two months to get their spine kind of upright, get them better. And then we can get down to like once a month. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as, is it safe? Absolutely. It's safe for babies all the way up to elderly. We use different amount of force depending on the person that we are adjusting. Um, babies require just a little bit of pressure, you know, of your fingertips, especially when we're adjusting the Atlas. Um, we also have some instruments, like it's called an activator. It's a little bit of like an impulse thing that we can do on their, their spine. Um, but usually we use our hands, my office especially. Um, 
it's very safe. Chiropractors, chiropractic adjustments are taking place all over the world, hundreds of thousands a day, and you just don't hear of things happening. If you did, it would be headline news because, of course, they they would that would be highly uh, publicized. Um, so no, it's very very safe. That's why though it is so important to go to a real chiropractor. I see here there are fake ones posing as chiropractors going doing home service. They are not chiropractors. Um, and then you got Karada. They are not chiropractors. Um, and then the technique. Now, this touches upon a very interesting, you know, topic or subject. Uh, chiropractic clinic. Every clinic is different, and they use different techniques. You know, some use machines, and some use their hands, and some mix physical therapy, and some have acupressure and acupuncture. So every office is different. Um, Again, my office is more for wellness and family and prevention. Mm -hmm. So my office, we do take care of a lot of kids. And um, yeah, I hope that answers all three of your questions. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Doc. I'm, I'm very, very interested about I, I like to have my... It's so good for kids. Yeah, it's so good. Asthma, allergies, kids nowadays have those problems and we can help get rid of that stuff very, very fast. Yeah. Yes. So yes, P, any question? Any more questions for Doc Rob? Yeah, Doc, um, how about problems with posture? Can, can a chiropractor help for problems with posture? Um, absolutely. Um, absolutely. You know, the big posture we were speaking about early is the slouching, coming forward, the head going forward, um, the kuba, right? Our back goes forward, mm -hmm. the shoulders round. And so those are things, absolutely, with chiropractic care, you're going to feel much more natural to sit straight, to stand tall, because we are in the process of allowing your spine to be in a better position. Um, scoliosis is a little bit of a different. Um, that's something we never really promised that we are going to correct. That's a very dangerous word, correct. Um, depending on the age, we can make some small improvements over time, <clears throat> but there's really no correcting a scoliosis. Anyone saying they can, that's um, probably not really true. Mm, Doc? Um, when someone goes to you, does it really need to have a referral from, from a doctor to see Good a question, chiropractor? Yeah. Um, no, you absolutely do not need a referral because you're going to have a hard time getting a referral from a medical doctor to see us. Um, no, no, you do not need a so We a don't referral. need a prescription by a medical doctor to look for... Absolutely a not. Absolutely not. Like I said, you'd have a hard time getting that. They would, they would say, no, do not come and see us. Absolutely. Um, and now you spoke about earlier, I didn't touch upon this, the popping. Okay, so what is the popping? The tunog, di ba? Tunog. Ang dami tunog. Very, very masarap. Masarap. Walang sakit. Walang sakit. Um, so what the tunog is, is in our joints, uh, air molecules, little air bubbles, microscopic, develop inside of our joints. So when we crack our knuckles, that's just air molecules bursting. <clears throat> it's like a gas. Yeah, it's just a bursting of, you know, hundreds little air molecules bursting in the joint. So same thing with our spine. When I adjust the joint, we are releasing that joint. So you will hear tonug. Tonug is good. It's a good sign. It's a oh, sign of okay. joint health. Because, like I touched upon earlier, as we age, we have arthritis. Our joints are degenerating. That's why we get shorter as we age. That's why we get stiffer. Our joints are in the process of fusing. Mm -hmm. So no more discs. They come together. <clears throat> so therefore, we have less joint space. So sometimes as we age, there's less popping. Mm. So that is a sign of unhealthy joint. And so, so we get that. I got 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds, and their joints are very stiff because there's already a little decay. And so we need that regular adjustment to get the joint healthy again. And we can improve that joint health, lubricating the joint, getting the hydration back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it doesn't hurt. Masarap. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very good. Yes, you will love. <laughs> okay. Yes, Pink, any more questions? <laughs> so, um, Dr. Rob, what do I need to know before my chiropractic therapy or what should I expect for an initial appointment? Okay, so um, some offices um, do take x-ray um, mm -hmm. and, or they might have you go and get an x-ray. I took x-ray for 15 years in my San Diego clinic. And um, when I came here, I decided that I'm, I'm not going to take x-ray. 
I can really tell the person what's going on with their spine, the health of their spine. Mm -hmm. I don't really need the x-ray. In some cases, we do you know, need an x-ray and we'll then refer out to get one. But in mo most cases, we don't need one. Uh, so in our clinic, you know, really, you don't really need anything. Now, if you have MRI or if you have x-ray, bring them. Of course, that helps. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really it. We don't need anything. Just come and then we can help you. Wow, that's a very good thing to know that you are just so ready when your client. Yeah, we try to make it efficient yeah. and we uh -huh. save, we, 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 and that's, you know, during the exam, we go over and we really give it a very educational experience. What's okay. going on? This is what's your spine. This is why you're having these problems with a proper diagnosis. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, so doc, is it okay to get a chiropractic treatment or adjustment as much as I want? For example, a person just like to have one, uh, like every day, is it healthy? <clears throat> what would you advise to these kind of thoughts of people that it's like can be a maintenance for them? Or if so, what is the um, accurate advice that you can give if that would be some sort of maintenance for overall yeah, health system? So this is what we say. Basically, the more you come, the faster we help you. Okay, so that, and you can absolutely do every day. Before the pandemic, we had people flying from Cebu, from Bokolad, from Hong Kong, and they would do twice in a day. You can do morning and afternoon. If you're super mm -hmm. acute, you can do twice a day. <clears throat> so at the beginning, when somebody's acute, usually we recommend two times a week at least. Mm -hmm. um, if you could do three, even better, because the more you come, the faster you're going to get better. Mm -hmm. And then as you improve, we slowly diminish your frequency to once a week, twice a month, and once a month. The longer you can do this, the more it's going to benefit you. So once a month is, is, a, is a great maintenance, twice a month. Those are great maintenance types of care. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's kind of like this. Every single day, all that stress is accumulating on your spine, right? We spoke about emotional, physical, chemical. And so mm -hmm. when you come once every two weeks, what you're doing is you are you are alleviating that stress off your spine. You're combating all the daily stress so your body can function better, so you sleep better, so your body can heal. So we absolutely recommend lifetime care. And so we do recommend, you know, at least once a month for maintenance. Mm -hmm. In my office, again, so we, since we want that lifetime care or long-term care, we, rec we definitely continue to reduce our prices and we give discounts and discounts to make yeah. it affordable for people. Cause of course we understand that it's expensive. Uh, so we give discounts and discounts to make it uh, affordable. I believe the, the pa um, if the patient or client will come to you, if they get a package, it's even better instead of just per session. It's Absolutely, better. yeah, we do have packages where we give discounts, yeah, big discounts, yeah. Yes, that's so nice. <clears throat> How, yes, P, any more questions? Um, so the, can a pregnant, can pregnant people visit a chiropractor? Absolutely. We have great testimonials of pregnancy all the way to the delivery. Gladys Reyes, um, another very famous, that's drawing a blank, just recently had a baby. Oh, Camille Pratt, she came. Um, many people come. Pregnancy, what chiropractic does for pregnancy is four things. It speeds up labor. Okay, so it reduces labor by about 50% because what we're doing by aligning the pelvis allowing proper dilation to take place naturally. It speeds up the labor time, okay? It's good for the baby because again, the nervous system and mom's spine is functioning better to the reproductive organs, et cetera. Um, it's good for mom, obviously she feels good, right? So she's feeling good during the pregnancy, less back pain, less leg pain. And uh, lastly, it reduces the chances of cesarean, of C-section. So it really improves that natural delivery, which is very important for the baby. Wow. Many months pregnant can be, you know. Yeah, all the way up, all the way up to the, the pregnancy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very, very safe. Yeah, magaling. <laughs> okay, Doc, um, this is my question now. With the condition that we have right now, we are very much aware of, we are where we are right now, we are still yeah. locked down here in Manila and yeah, we're still experiencing this uh, uh, pandemic thing and we have the virus ongoing. Um, yeah. All this treatment, chiropractic treatment can help an individual to, you know, to address this, to, to address this situation. 
most of the doctors uh, always say in, in, uh, on the media, social media, strengthen your immune system, strengthen your immune But can this chiropractic treatment can help us to, to address and strengthen our immune system? Yeah, so, you know, I mean, it's, it's funny. You're, you're hearing all of this talk about immune system now, and this is what, you know, my office, myself, has been preaching for 20 years. This is what chiropractic is about. It's about strengthening your body, your nervous system, which is correlated, directly correlated with your immune system. Um, if your body is strong, you're able to fight sickness and disease. Right. So absolutely, it is so beneficial to strengthen your immune system by <clears throat> basically when you're getting chiropractic, your nervous system is able to work more efficiently, mm -hmm. like a computer. If it's working more efficiently, it's very fast, right? It's oh, yeah. working efficiently. And so that's what it, the nervous system is able to work more efficiently, which means it's communicating to the heart, the lungs, the liver. Your body is not uh, wasting energy on these, these back pains, these headaches, these ailments, these symptoms. So your immune system is able and ready to attack any invaders. Okay. okay. So in chiropractic school, we are really taught about viruses and these types of things, and we're not taught so much fear about them. We're, we're very okay with this stuff. It's all about having the strength inside and so that's what we're taught about being strong inside so your body can defeat you know any viruses because we are constantly bombarded with viruses every day there's millions of billions of viruses yeah. in the world and of course now we have this new virus and so yes maybe our body is not um you know ready for it meaning like it's not uh it's a foreign invader it's something new but if your body's strong it should really be able to handle it if you're taking all other precautionaries, like what you guys are always assisting is lifestyle, nutrition and exercise and proper sleep and, and chiropractic goes hand in hand with that. So absolutely, yes. Wow, so it's a very empowering thing to know that this kind of treatment can also a uh, key factor that we have to strengthen our overall health system. I believe it's not just only our body, but the mental aspect as well. If you yes. have this kind of a treatment or part of your so-called lifestyle to have a kind yes. of a practic treatment. So yes, P, any more questions for our um, very kind doctor, Dr. Rob, <laughs> to provide all of this information? There is right. Dr. Rob, I, um, I really appreciate how you answer every question. It's really, you know, <laughs> understand it right away. Thank yes. you. Thank you. You mm -hmm. explained it in a very practical and pragmatic way that people can easily understand and comprehend how this treatment really works. And I believe for people to comprehend it easily, they are more convinced to try the treatment. So thank you very much, Doc Rob. You're, yes. you're so welcome. Um, this, uh, I have another question. So how long does a chiropractic care uh, take to work? Like how many sessions before I will see the, the, you know, the results? Okay, good question. So it really depends on the person's age, the severity of the problem, but usually it's fairly fast. I mean, usually the first session, second session, third session, you should definitely be starting to feel something. Usually the first session, you're you're pretty, um, uh, you feel lighter, you feel looser, you usually sleep very good, um, you, get, you get a little sleepy because oftentimes, you know, the stress has really accumulated and our nervous system is, um, you know, a little bit um, not working very well. And so by us instantly improving nerve function, the body wants to rest, it wants to sleep because that's when your body does majority of its healing and recovering. Um, but it usually is fairly quick. You will start to feel better. There's in some cases where a person might feel a little sore, not pain, but sore because your body's not used to being moved like that. So yeah. sometimes it's kind of like exercising for the first time in a long time, you feel a little soreness. So there can be a small or a short acclimation period. That's really great, Doc. Um, I really understand though, that it really depends on how or the severity, the age yeah. and the lifestyle of the person before they, you know, see the results. So, um, yeah, do you have any other questions, Judith Alma? Yeah, um, I'm just quite curious only with how Doc Rob decided to, to bring this 
practice here in the Philippines. In our interview with with him last Sunday, he mentioned that uh, he shared with us his experience, how he uh, stumbled upon this kind of treatment and he, you were in abroad and you also studied there. So what made you decide Doc, to bring this to the Philippines and why you're so passionate about this? I mean, it seems that you're not only spreading this kind of treatment you you couple it with so much information that it's just really a very holistic way to approach this so what uh, made you decide to 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 bring this here in the philippines so can you okay so yeah us? so you know patricia you know y'all know i'm married to patricia javier right mm -hmm. uh she moved to america in um you know 2004 and married me and um i had a I had a successful chiropractic clinic in beautiful San Diego, very, very, very Maganda, um, and very, very successful practice. And what happened was, um, so I started that in the year 2000, and um, somebody came in 2013, they offered to buy my clinic. Okay. And so somebody purchased my clinic in San Diego, and it was the first time that, or the first time in 13 years where I was kind of free. I I didn't have a, a clinic that I was, uh, you know, tied to. And then at the same time, somebody bought our house. And so it was kind of like this perfect timing. We said, hey, you know, let's. And while our kids are young, let's just go to the Philippines for six months, <clears throat> nine months, a long vacation. We'll go and, uh, you know, I can go and spread the word. We can do some charity things some charity chiropractic and you know, you can see your showbiz friends and things like that. And so what happened was we started to do that. We, I was going to a church every Sunday and speaking and doing free chiropractic. And I was very much into CrossFit at that time. And I was going to CrossFit boxes and speaking about Cairo and doing charity chiropractic. And, and that was going on for the first few months. And then what happened was people started to message me on Facebook and they're like, wow, I, I got that adjustment. I, I want more. Can I get more? Can I get more? Yeah. And we're like, okay, well, we're staying at this townhouse. You know, you can come here on all, you know, and get adjusted. And, and it just started to grow organically. We did not come here to start a chiropractic clinic. We figured we'd spend six months, one year, and then I'd go back to San Diego and start another clinic. But what happened was people just started filling our garage on a Saturday, like, I'm not joking, filled with people. And um, we just started to see the demand. And I started to speak to other chiropractors here and, and talk to them about it. And we saw the demand, we saw the need. And I fell in love with the Filipino people. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with how fulfilled I was and am helping people here. They're so appreciative and it's so new. So it's like this, it, it really has revitalized my career because in America, everybody already has a chiropractor. Everyone is, and I had a very successful practice, but nothing like here. Here, it's crazy. We are helping so many people. Um, and it's so fulfilling because Filipinos are so appreciative. And I have fallen in love with, I fell in love with the people. And so that's when we decided, okay, hey, we're gonna start our clinic here. And so now it's five years later and we have four branches and I have uh, you know, three other doc, American doctors uh, that take care of three other branches. I take care of one branch. And, and so that's how it's happened. And just the miracles that we experience every day has really allowed me to continue with my conviction, my passion. And Patricia is so vital and instrumental in the success because I've used her. She's been the catalyst of this whole thing because of she's been able to get me on all the TV shows and really spread this message. And of course, she's so loved here, and so people, you know, really trust her, and that's that's really the the secret to my success has been her. And then, of course, coupled with our amazing surface service, and so that's that's what's what's happened, and we've been able to really create an amazing thing. Chiropractors are really taught not only about the spine and the nervous system, but about total health, like you are, like naturopaths. We're taught nutrition. We're taught about healthy lifestyle. And it's what we believe. We're super knowledgeable about this stuff. I've written my own book. I have my book here. It's called The Five Factors, uh, Doc Rob's Guide to Better Health and Wellness. And so we talk about five things that you need to do consistently to be as healthy as possible. 
uh, nutrition, exercise, proper sleep, positive mental attitude, very, very important. And the fifth one is a sound functioning nervous system, which is, you know, goes hand in hand with chiropractic. So that's our mission here is talking about health and wellness, whether it's through chiropractic, naturopath, you know, we all have our place. And uh, we're super excited to work with you guys too and help each other. And just so people can be healthier, because that's the key to life. If you don't feel good, you're, you can't be happy. It's very hard to be happy. It affects all relationships, every aspect of your life. So uh, that's, that's our story. And that's why I believe we're having so much success because it comes from the heart. That's true. Very, very inspiring story, Doc. And um, hearing this is really, you're, you're really having this passion. And yet, coupled with compassion, uh, hearing your story and why you, you decided to stay here is like, you know, you want to be of service to this kind of um, um, tools or techniques that you know. And then from a simple um, um, practice that you did to someone and then from a word of mouth, I believe, and you were yeah. saying your garage was feeling that time. <laughs> and what you like about is the, that you feel that you are, um, you have to stay here because you have a mission. It's like fulfilling your purpose, Doc, through this kind of um, practice that you have. And it, that's so good because um, I believe nowadays this is so, so important for everyone to have a big heart, whatever they can be of service to others. And um, you are one of those people that you're really, you call this as a calling or fulfilling your purpose. And that's so good to know because I agree to everything what you said, Doc. We as people that our own, everybody has its own place. Yes, I agree to that. And whatever resonates to you, follow that trail, follow that path. And uh, um, we are here to be of service to them because we are um, called to do so. And we do that with all our hearts and soul. So thank you so much, Doc Rob, to hear this. Not only the information I insightful information that you've given us to all our viewers more so is you empowered us and um you give us um an inspiration to everyone to really living our our purpose finding our purpose is very very important also but nevertheless i i i affirm everything that you said that you know it's important really to have an overall health system it's not only talking about um the, the body but body mind and spirit and we can all achieve that we have the power to achieve, achieve that as you said a, a while ago our body has innate intelligence or ability we are here only to educate our patient to assist them to let them know how powerful their body is as well so doc rob thank you <laughs> so much we are so grateful to have you here in Natura Pats in Manila and we will definitely have you again Dr. because yes. we know that you have so much so much to share to all our viewers so thank you again Dr. Rob and please extend our gratitude to your beautiful wife that she is the catalyst why we have Dr. Rob in the building so <laughs> she really tell pushed her, <laughs> tell her that we are so grateful for her presence also yes Pink Yes, Doc Rob, thank you so much for, you know, right away saying yes to our invite. Like, I didn't wait for so much hours or days <laughs> to reply. You just said to your assistant, yes, Doc can do this now. Said your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I saw, because um, I'm also with uh, a show in TV5 and we just, uh, we're inviting Gladys Reyes and I saw you on Gladys Reyes post in Instagram and then I saw you also on Claudine's and then I saw you on other <laughs> on Jud <laughs> so, oh, the yeah. doctors all over all over the <laughs> Instagram <laughs> and then yeah. so, so grateful not not just because you know you're you're famous here in the Philippines not because not just because um your wife is Miss Patricia Javier but because we felt your you know your intention to really to really help and you know share the knowledge that you have that you resonate with and we're so inspired to do what we're what what we've you know me what i have um what i have chosen to to be a wellness coach to become a naturopath and you know um 
yeah, Doc Rob, hopefully in the future, uh, we can go to your, to mm -hmm. your clinic. Maybe in QC or maybe in... Absolutely. I would love that. Yeah. I think I, 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 yeah. I just like to add what uh, Pink said that, um, yes, I agree. Um, it's not only that um, um, Doc Rob is popular. It's, he is popular because he brings results to what he does. And that makes a difference. You can be any, anybody. You can be in the, any kind of practices, but the results will speak for itself. He is always in Instagram and other social media promoted by different personalities because, Doc, you bring results to what you do. So for that, thank you very much, Doc Rao. You're, you're so welcome. And thank you, guys. I can't say enough. <clears throat> thank you to Filipinos and to, to <laughs> yourselves, you know, because I love the Filipino people because you guys uh, love each other. You know, I, I'm always fascinated two Filipinos can be on the couch and they don't know each other yet. They can talk like they are related. And I love Filipinos. I love their heart. And that's why we stayed here. So, and just cause I know we have this gift and we can help more people. And um, I'm, I'm excited to make Philippines a, a better place. And, yeah. and I'm always so appreciative for accepting us and my family. And I can't wait to continue to spread our love and I would really love to meet you guys. So anytime you guys want to get, to get together in our clinic, you know, we can really do a demo of chiropractic anytime you want, just let me know. We will have you again, Doc, definitely. <laughs> that invitation, the Naturopaths Manila team already accepting that invitation. It's just a matter of time, Doc. Sounds good, yes. <laughs> yes, P, any more thing to say before we end this um, discussion with our uh with dr rob i guess it's it's already i'm already good it's actually beyond what i expected <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone thank you so much again for tuning in with us definitely we're gonna flash on the screen all the contacts the details that where you can reach dr rob um you will see that on our screen and uh you can uh, inquire to all the branches, uh, all the clinics of Dr. Rab. He, he will be very, his team, Dr. Rab and his team will be very, very happy to accommodate you to answer yes, all your questions. Yes, absolutely, yes. Thank, thank you very thank much, Doc. His thank product. you guys so much. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, Doc Rab, you can actually um, invite the viewers of your other products like Vitality and your Doc Rab's yes. piece. Yeah, we've had great success when we came here. <clears throat> we made our own pillow line, our own pillow products. So we have a very, very effective, a very comfortable pillow for sleeping. We also have for the chair, if you're you know, constantly sitting at the chair for your lumbar support. Um, we have uh, several different pillow products. And we've recently come out with very exciting. We've been working on this for over a year. We've only come out with our own supplement line. So we have a fish oil and a vitamin D combo. And then we have a vitamin C pack, which is filled with stuff for your joints, uh, vitamin B, uh, vitamin E, a collagen. So this uh, vitamin C pack, it's a mixture. It's super muscle up and it's okay, very safe for kids. So the vitamin C packs are very, very good. And then we come out with our own joint health products, joint care. So it has glucosamine, shark cartilage, hyaluronic acid, MSM, collagen, the hat. So nah. yeah, you can get all the information about our products at uh, www.docrobstore.com. Yes. Wow, wow. <laughs> so thank you for that. We've been very busy. Yes, very yes. busy. Yes, and you I touched upon, we have a, now we have a vitamin infusion uh, center. It's called uh, Vitality uh, okay. Wellness Center. Yep, yep, that we can flash that uh, website as well. So for yeah, sure. we're, we're, we want to make it a one-stop shop you know, so everyone can get as healthy as possible. Precisely. That's very good. So thank you so much again, Doc Rob, for, for all of this insightful information and for giving your heart to all our viewers for being so uh, kind to provide all this uh, insightful information to all our viewers. We are very, very grateful for your time, for your kindness, for your energy. Again, viewers, um, you are seeing right now on the screen where you can uh, communicate, contact Dr. Rob and all his clinics. Um, um, just give them uh, a call for an appointment. 
Yeah. So thank you again, and uh, we will see you again for our next topic. Goodbye. Thank and you, guys. <laughs>
Um, but if you want to have um, personally attend, uh, be attended by Dr. Rob, I think he's taking care of the Quezon City. So we have in Alabang also, but all the doctors he said uh, highly recommended. They are from US, trained um, more than 10 years of practice. And of course, Shempre, he's a chiropractor of all, or not all, but most of the TV personalities. He's very open to say that his wife, Patricia Javier, um, really helping him hand in hand to promote this. So, kaya ganyan ang kanyang mga clients. And uh, he is called a doc, uh, well loved doctor because etong mga personalities na to ang nagbigay sa kanya ng title na yan. Ha? So, as you, if you get to know Doc Rob and meet him, talaga namang mararamdaman mo yung kanyang love for the Filipino people. Diba, Pink? Correct. Yes. Yun lang yung sagot eh. Correct. Correct. Sige lang. Flash <laughs> so, on the screen. Yes. Yeah, so, everyone, I, I highly recommend this doctor. And um, me personally, I want to experience, um, and also my boy, my son, this uh, chiropractic treatment by Dr. Rob and his team. Yes. Okay, so now I'd like everyone, the naturopaths in Manila would like to invite you to, to this very informative workshop. This is very, very important. I'd like to uh, give some time with this workshop lab huh? because uh, nowadays we're so focusing on physical health, physical health, but we know better that it goes hand in hand. Our mental health or mental aspect should be also nurtured and uh, taken well taken care of. And this is the workshop that uh, we are uh, promoting here in our program, the complementary how-to system to become a better you, or the title is U 2.0. That will be on October 10, 17, and 24 from 2 o'clock to 6 p.m. All of this on Saturdays. Um, Facilitators of all this workshop, M for yes, which is Zarina Maliari from um, talk about pranic healing here in our program and we con principe talk about hypnotherapy. Tapos yung kasama nila si Carlo Martin um, is going to be part of this and our future guest Patrick Angeles talk about movement in success so watch out for this first um this uh, uh workshop i'm sure you guys would would uh would learn a lot of things tong mga facilitators na to they are sharing their knowledge their expertise and um happily want to be of help as well so please contact them that is the if you can inquire to um for a reservation to hello at solistic clinic.ph you can viber this is the number it's flashing on the screen right now so encouraging everyone to attend this uh, workshop i'm sure you will learn a lot of things thank you my love Okay, for our next guest next week, uh, we're so grateful that this beautiful, gorgeous lady is, go is going to share with us. The topic is the healing through natural remedy remedies. Marilyn Faustino Montenegro, she used to be a rap and commercial model, but now she's a happy um, married woman to Hans Montenegro. Um, going to share to all of us her journey about natural remedies and this person is going to share also with us she is actually she was contracted by COVID last March and how natural remedies help her to heal um, herself so all natural lang ginamit niyan so I can attest to that so thank you Marilyn I am I'm sure you're also watching this for saying big yes to our viewers who's going to learn from you and go I'm sure you're going to inspire everyone who's watching us so watch out for this topic um, on Sunday she's going to be live with us Monday and Tuesday so watch out for all our um upcoming uh topic and uh as i've said we've said in the program this october we're bringing um people that you will learn also yung alam mo yung 
not only in their expertise but they practice it so marilyn is one of uh, one of those guests that we're going to bring here in naturopaths in manila yes pink so watch out for that this uh, lineup of guests that we have this october they're all magugulat kayo they're all personalities that oh really practicing natural uh, natural um remedies to their life or talagang part ng lifestyle nila tong uh, mga healing power of nature. Yeah, Pink? Yes, I, I'm very excited to our next episode. This is really something, you know, very interesting. Yes, that's right. And she just used natural remedies when she was contacted with this, you know. Virus. Nice. That's right, yes. Very and very inspiring and very empowering right so of course all of us are um scared you know in this time in this situation but there, we really have so many options to you know empower ourselves and not just be scared but do something about it you know yes so i guess it's time for us to say to end this yes yeah, so Everyone, thank you so much uh, for um, continuously watching this program and uh, staying with us up to this time. And uh, we are very, um, we're hoping that you are learning something to every guest that we bring in this platform. And uh, that's really what we want to happen. And the goal of this show is to make people become aware of the healing power of nature at on all levels, the body, mind, and spirit, yes. And uh, again, um, saying goodbye now, we're ending our show and we'll see you again next week. So yes, have a blessed day ahead. Yes, Pink. Thank you so much, everyone. See you again next week, this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday, 3 p.m. and on Tuesday, 10 a.m. Um, thank you so much and have a blessed week ahead. Thank you. Bye.